Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what are your person's feelings for the third party? Now, of course, this reading is not going to be for all of you. This reading is only for those of you who are currently dealing with someone who you know is involved with somebody else outside of their relationship or connection with you. If you know that to be the case, then I'm going to take a look at what are your person's current feelings for that third party and also what are their current feelings for you, Cancer. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's get started. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me what are Cancer's person's current feelings for the third party? Let's see. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we do have two of cups here. We also have three of wands, the strength card, six of pentacles in reverse, king of pentacles, six of wands in reverse, nine of cups upright. Okay. Ace of cups and the nine of swords in the moon. Hmm. So in regards to your person's current feelings for the third party... It does look like things are not working out between them. I do feel like there is a strong uh, emotional connection, though, with the Two of Cups. I do feel like with the Ace of Cups, um, your person wanted things to work out between them and the third party. They wanted to have a successful relationship with the third party. However, we do have the Nine of Swords with the Moon here. So it does look like things didn't go according to plan. Or things didn't go how they thought it would. It looks to me like your person had a specific hope or like had a specific vision mm -hmm. yeah especially with the nine of swords i feel like they had a specific idea or vision of of, of where this relationship would go moving forward into the future. But it looks like everything, everything turned upside down with the Nine of Swords. Everything turned upside down between them. Six of Pentacles in reverse. The relationship became unstable. The relationship became unreliable. And it is with a heavy heart. Yeah, it is with a heavy heart. The strength card is the card of the heart. Um, that your person seems to be disconnecting. 
disconnecting and walking away from the third party. Creating separation and distance. I do want to see that three of wands, though. Spirit, can you tell me more about this three of wands? Please, thank you. Five of Wands, there's a lot of conflict currently between them and the third party, or there's been a lot of conflict between them, a lot of differences and disagreements. Um, but yeah, with the Three of Wands, we have the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups in reverse. There's no celebration. Three of Cups is a card of celebration, but it, when it's in the reverse, um, Things are not working out, basically. And with the Ten of Cups, I do feel like um, your person wants to be happy. They want to be happy. They want to, they want to experience um, a happily ever after with someone. But right now, they're feeling very lonely. Yeah, right now they're feeling very lonely. They're feeling very um, isolated. And I do feel like they're trying to um, accept. Accept that things didn't work out the way they wanted it to work out. And I do feel like they're trying to be happy on their own with the Nine of Cups. The original idea was to be happy with, or the original intention was to be happy with this third party, but since things, since things are not working out, the relationship here is unstable and one-sided, um, I do see them trying to be happy on their own and accept their current reality, which is them being apart from the apart or separated from the third party anything else spirit i'll take a look at this king of pentacles i feel like this king of pentacles wants to say something i'm not sure what so let's see what is this king of pentacles thinking about or yeah, what is this king of pentacles feeling spirit Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So they are single or they are um, looking at themselves as someone who's single right now. Six of Swords in reverse, that's Howard. The Page of Pentacles, Death in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I do feel like there's temptation here for sure. There is there is a temptation to 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 return back to the third party to to communicate, to reach out. But I do feel like um whoever you're connecting to Cancer, I do feel like they are resisting with the King of Pentacles. They are resisting um taking steps backwards. 
you know, going backwards. I feel like this person is, um, whoever you're connecting to Cancer, I feel like they're trying to um, move forward with the Three of Wands. And, you know, seek out new opportunities to, to be happy in the way they want to be happy. So I do feel like there is a temptation to return back to the third party, but I feel like they know that they're just going to encounter the same problems all over again, you know? Yeah, I feel like they, they know that things are unlikely to change. So I do feel like they are resisting um, repeating a cycle here with the third party. Hmm. You know, Cancer, I feel like this person is not completely out of this relationship, okay? Even, they are, even though they are like considering considering themselves single and unattached i'm not convinced with this energy that they're showing here you know i'm not convinced i feel like this person is still uh teeter tottering you know i feel like they're still teeter tottering i feel like they're trying very hard to resist temptation to reconnect with the third party, but I, I see that it's still um, a potential. To go backwards instead of forward, you know? I feel like they're thinking about it, you know? But as of right now, I feel like they are kind of maintaining themselves firm on on not revisiting this connection or relationship with the third party. All right, let's move on, Cancer. Let's take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you now. Let's see. Right, spirit angels and guys please show me what are this person's current feelings for cancer please whoever it is that cancer is connecting to and dealing with in love how are they currently feeling about cancer thank you spirit bottom of the deck eight of cups we also have judgment two of pentacles the fool we have wheel of fortune in reverse six of pentacles ace of pentacles in reverse okay so in regards to your person's current feelings for you cancer eight of cups ten of swords three of swords seven of cups geez look at this energy hold on Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Three of Swords in Reverse, Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is this is the Three of Wands that we were looking at at the beginning of the reading with the third party. Here it is showing up as the Seven of Cups. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, it's like I said, this person is wanting to invest in something new, in someone new. That's not the third party. They want to open up, they want to open themselves up to to a different person, to a different relationship. Yeah, all right, I got it. So this Eight of Cups and the Ten of Swords is them walking away from the third party. Mm -hmm. And this is them trying to heal their heart, heal their disappointment. And with the Seven of Cups, they're opening themselves up to um, a different situation, a different relationship, which I feel is you, Cancer, okay? Because you're showing up here as the Six of Pentacles. So you would be that new relationship or other relationship. Now, they are indecisive here with the Two of Pentacles, and that does also come from the Seven of Cups. It's a card of confusion, feeling feeling a little bit emotionally scattered, emotionally um, unclear, uncertain, confused. Judgment is here. This person feels like they need to make a decision with the Judgment card. We do, ha we do have the fool here, so I feel like this person is trying to think about what's best for them, you know, in the long run. What's going to be best for me in the long run? Am I ready for a relationship now? Am I ready to invest in, in cancer, in you, cancer? Or would it be best for me to just kind of stay on my own, keep to myself? Because the Fool is a very independent energy, very solitary energy. So with the Two of Pentacles, it's kind of like that, you know, that energy of, should I just stay on my own? Should I just do my own thing for a while? You know, should I just embrace being single? Or should I give this relationship a chance with Cancer? Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So no... Um, no offer is being extended yet with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. There's no offer here being made yet because they're, they're thinking about it. They're evaluating things with the Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? That's what I want to know. Yeah, T um, talk to me about the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit. Why is this card showing up and why is it showing up in the reverse, please? Hmm. Okay. I see. So this is kind of like a third option, basically. So we have two options here with the two of pentacles, but this wheel of fortune in reverse is a third option that they have. So they can either um, have something new with you, um, invest in having a, a new beginning with you. They can either stay alone, stay single with the full card, or they can return back to the past with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Back to their unfinished business that they feel like they have with the, with the third party. Hmm. And because they're showing up as the Seven of Cups, I feel like this person is just not, they're not leaning towards one towards one direction more than another direction, towards one option more than another option or the other two options. You know, I don't feel like they're leaning more in, in one direction, you know? 
you know, I feel like they're, I feel like they don't know. They don't know. I don't feel like they're being pulled more strongly in your direction, you know? Right now, at least not right now. So, uh, what's that Two of Pentacles about? Let's just see if there's any details about that one. What, what's going on with the Two of Pentacles spirit? Yeah, what is this person juggling? Or what are they um, calculating? Okay, yeah, the moon in reverse and the ten of wands. God, this person is struggling here to, to you know, end end things in their life. Actually, I'll take a look more at that ten of wands spirit. Let me get a little further into the significance of the ten of wands or the meaning, please. Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this is kind of like an energy of restlessness, feeling burdened. They're, okay, I got it. So yeah, they're feeling really burdened right now. They feel like there's a lot on, on their plate. Oh, okay. So I do see that they're leaning more towards this direction then. They are kind of leaning more towards this full energy. You know, the energy of, you know, just staying alone, keeping to themselves, you know, taking a break, doing their own thing, because they are feeling kind of overwhelmed here. And they do feel like they need to kind of regain their own personal power, their own personal stability, their, regain control of themselves, because they did go through some sort of heavy breakup or separation or ending here with the Ten of Swords. But at the same time, I do see that this person doesn't want to miss out on an opportunity with you. They don't want to have a missed opportunity with you, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So they do feel kind of pressured when it comes to time. They do, they do kind of feel pressured to make a decision here. All right, let's see what's the most likely outcome um, between you, Cancer, and this person, the most likely outcome as of right now. Things can change, but as of right now, what's the most likely outcome? Please show me, Spirit. Thank you so much. Yeah, what actions will this person most likely take towards Cancer? Moving forward into the future, please. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, I see. Yeah, so this is what I was already telling you, Cancer. I, I feel like this person is, um, you know, they have, they have multiple options, which I already discussed with the Seven of Cups. They do have multiple avenues here that they can go on, multiple paths. Um, but I do feel like they are going to be leaning towards this full energy, which I had already picked up on which is kind of like taking a break, you know, um, not getting involved in anything or with anyone, just kind of um, doing their own thing with the King of Wands and focusing on themselves with the Strength card, card, focusing on healing, focusing on regaining 
confidence because this person has lost a lot of self-confidence here with the empress in reverse so i do feel like they're going to want to take things slow very slow you know i still feel like they are going to be hanging on to you with the strength card okay and also with the nine of cups in reverse so i don't see this person walking away from you or abandoning um you know, the the connection with you. But I do see them kind of taking things very slow and focusing more on... on, on themselves, focusing more on themselves and on kind of rebuilding their self-confidence and self-esteem and their sense of self-control. They definitely have a lot of feelings for you. I do see that with the Nine of Cups um, in reverse. I do feel like they they see the value in you, for sure. What's going through this King of Wands uh, mind, spirit? Let me, let me get a, a deeper look at the King of Wands, please. What is their plan? What are they thinking about? Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, Five of Cups in reverse, I see. Yeah. Yeah, there's still an attachment to the past. I feel like it might be too like soon or, it might, you know, they might have recently um, gone through this separation and I feel like it hasn't really um, synced in yet, you know? Yeah, it hasn't really synced in yet. But I do see this person um, trying their best to move forward and not move backwards. Yeah, resisting resisting moving backwards. Res or resist sorry, resisting returning back to the past with the strength card. Um, I do see that they want to have this new beginning with you, but it is going to be something that takes time with this person, okay? Because I feel like they are basically emotionally unavailable, is what I would call it, emotionally unavailable at the at this current time. All right, Cancer, so I hope this helped you and I hope it gave you clarity. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.